So I'm going to go back to the More menu. And I'm going to turn on Lens Flare. And as is most things in Photoshop Touch, it has a dialog screen. There's all different types of lens flares going on here. So let me, first and foremost, you see I've got my mouse uh, right on the flare itself. And you'll notice the, it's kind of like the crosshairs, but it gives you a, a grayed out or a shaded version of what the lens flare should look like. But you can move this lens flare anywhere you want on the picture. I'm going to put this right up in the top left of the cap. And uh, you'll notice I'm in a Photoshop lens flare. If I hit that, there's all different kinds of lens flares. Here's a spot flare. There's an artist flare, which is kind of straightforward white. Here's a fantasy flare, which gives you the more, you know, the, the smaller uh, flares as it goes down the picture. It's kind of a cool thing. Here's this JJ flare, which I, I, I looked at it, and it looks very much like a Star Trek uh, kind of look. And I, the only thing I can think of is that the JJ is, uh, stands for JJ Abrams. Uh, who is directing a lot of the star, the latest Star Trek movies. Just a guess, just a hunch. Uh, so there's your JJ flare and there's your sunset flare. We're going to go back to the Photoshop flare and we're going to make some adjustments here. I'm going to turn down the intensity because it looks really, really powerful. Uh, let me keep coming. 5, 6%, 3% intensity. Uh, I need a little more than that. Let's go to 6. The scale, I'm going to kick all the way down to 25% so it's not as big of a flare. And we'll call it good. There's my lens flare. I can hit commit. So my lens flare, notice that it, it is attached to the label, the layer that the label is on. And I'm good there. And the last, very last piece I need to do, I want to get rid of this extraneous stuff outside around the bottle. So I'm going to crop this back to the more menu. We've covered a good chunk of these tools within the more menu, but I'm going to hit crop. And what crop allows you to do is decide what is going to be left on the picture. So I'm going to pull that in. I'm going to pull that in, and I'm going to pull this side in, and I'm going to pull, let's see if I can pull this picture up a little bit. Yep, and I'm going to pull the bottom up just a little bit. So once I've got it where I'd like it, okay, I grabbed a little bit of the lens flare. Once I, I can kind of determine what that picture is going to look like, I hit commit, give it a few minutes, and you're completely cropped. And there is your finished product of your water bottle with your label. Hopefully that helped.